Hello, Evil Squid Comics Podcast here. This is my latest box of bindings. It's actually box one of two. The second box has not come. This happens quite a bit where they basically ship two boxes and they don't arrive on the same day. It's, which is weird because you think they're shipping them on the same day. So you would think the boxes would arrive the same day, but apparently they don't. But yeah, since it's back in, uh, I want to say November, so it's been, this one took a while, but I know that Herring and Robinson, the binder I've been using, they're out of California. I know they've had a lot of shutdowns and stuff because of COVID. And I think right now they're not taking new orders, so I think that's part of the delay. They said they could finish all the ones they had, but they couldn't take any new ones per the governor's orders or whatever. So hopefully they'll be back up and running soon So I still have more bindings I need to do. But anyway, they pack it pretty good. They put a lot of tape on it. So, let's see what we got. I'm not sure what's in this box. Like I said, it's been a while, so I can't even really remember what I even sent. Uh, let's see. First one is Drifter. All right, so this was an image book back in, I don't know, a few years ago. I bought the first few issues of it and then kind of dropped off, but I really like the art by Nick Klein. I know he's done uh, some stuff since then. I can't remember what he's been working on. but Oh, I think he's doing Thor. Yeah, I think he's doing Thor. So, but anyway, the art is beautiful. He does, like, the colors and everything in here. But uh, it's kind of a cool kind of science fiction, you know, distant planet, mysterious stuff going on story. I don't know. I haven't read it all, so I was wanting to get it bound and then read the whole thing. So I'm pretty excited to read that, actually. And then let's see what else we got here. Oh, yes, yeah, Stray Bullets, part one. I was really trying to figure out how to, you know, bind Stray Bullets. But this is Sunshine and Roses, part one. And I believe this is all the Sunshine and Roses stuff. Because uh, David Lapham, he did the killer storyline. And then he did, which is only like eight issues, and then he did part one. Or then he did Sunshine and Roses, which is like 40-some. So I put that into two hardcovers. And I think, if I'm right, yeah. So I put Killers all together as its own. Even though it's a little bit thinner than I normally like to bind stuff. But I did add the... Uh, Amy Race Car color specials in there because I didn't really know what else to do with them because um, they aren't part of the Stray Bullets, Stray Bullets Uber Owls edition, which is the soft cover that I have of the original Stray Bullets. So I figure I'll just throw them in there. It's still Stray Bullets, right? And then here is Stray Bullets uh, Part 2. So this is issues 23 through, looks like, 42. So, yeah, so a lot of stray bullets, apparently. Hopefully, eventually, stray bullets will be coming back. I know Lapham said he needed to do some other stuff first. So, I think my other box, when it gets here, should be some Savage Dragon and hopefully some Gru. I think is what's in the other one, but we'll see when it gets here. I don't know if I'll splice them together to two different separate videos. We'll kind of see what happens. But anyway, that's my latest binds. Get excited, I guess. I did Drifter, I did like a silver lettering. I, know, I thought that kind of worked well. And Strain Bullets, more black, but with the white um, lettering. So, anyway, yeah. They, they turned out pretty nice. Uh, we'll see. I know the other ones are a little more colorful. These are kind of just black, so a little, little boring. But, you know, I think I can always print off a dust jacket if I want to spice up it on the shelf or whatever. If I don't decide I don't like the... I'm just the lettering on the black or whatever. So anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.